is up guys this is fierce 25 bringing you guys my very first modern warfare 3 commentary this is a game battles match of search and destroy and interchange so sit back and relax and enjoy the show in this commentary i'll be going over my opinions about modern warfare 3 my first thoughts and what i expected from infinity ward and sledgehammer games my opinion about modern warfare 3 coming from the experience of modern warfare 2 i wasn't very excited at all for this game Modern Warfare 2 was shit in my opinion. It was the worst Call of Duty ever made out of all the other Call of Duties. I prefer World at War than playing Modern Warfare 2. I love playing Black Ops than playing Modern Warfare 2. I would rather go back and play Call of Duty 4 than all the other Call of Duties because I believe Call of Duty 4 is the best out of all the Call of Duty 4. But that's just my opinion. So, Modern Warfare 3 was announced, wasn't very excited, and I didn't pre-order the game. I got the game the next day after release on Wednesday after class around noon. Went to my Walmart, picked it up, came home, played it. I played it for a good hour and a half. And the game is different. It's nothing like the other Call of Duties I've played before. It doesn't feel like the other Call of Duties I've played before. And I'm interested. I'm very interested in this game now. Um, it doesn't feel easy to pick up like the other Call of Duties. Like Call of Duty 4, it was easy to pick up, play, and kill people, but it took skill to master. And of course, you could tell who were the better players. Modern Warfare 2 took no skill, and a noob can kill a pro easily because the game was just complete shit. And I don't want people saying, oh, I was just bad at Modern Warfare 2. It wasn't bad, it's just the game was complete shit. And a lot of people don't like it either. And you can just see the bigger YouTubers, like, I guess, FPS Russia and those guys, they don't like Modern Warfare 2. And Woody's Gamertag. He went over in one of his videos about Modern Warfare 2 and his opinion about it. He said it was just complete shit, and I agree with him. He explains why the game was so bad, and I totally, 100% agree with him why Modern Warfare 2 was a complete epic fail, in my opinion. Or, and with his opinion, I completely agree with it. So the day when I got home and I played Modern Warfare 3, it's completely different. It's nothing like the other Call of Duty's I've played before, and I actually really, really like it. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I was being a tryhard. I was... I guess I was overdoing it in the public matches and I was raging and within the night I was ready to put the game back in this case and take it back to Walmart and return and get my money back. I was thinking like, wow Infinity Ward, you fucked up, you made another Modern Warfare 2, but in reality, it's just a different game. I was just trying too hard and I was just being a noob. I was rushing a little too hard, I was doing the most dumbest things, and I was just being careless. But after I sat down for a while, and it took my time to play the game, I realized the game is good. It's good. I spent all day Friday night with my friends playing the game, having fun, and Saturday um, I got competitive with the game. Like this game play right here you're seeing is a game battles match. And those out there who don't know what game battles is, game battles is a competitive gaming site where other teams face each other in private matches and you know try to get recognition and get better and win prizes and hopefully you know go to the grand stage of MLG and compete for thousands of dollars so that's what MLG and Game Battles is right here so people if you're seeing these white numbers I know I'm gonna get a comment later on saying this is a private match it's all staged it's not staged it's competitive gaming so just deal with it I'm, I don't like playing public games I love playing competitively that's just who I am so whatever so and then, what was I expecting from Infinity Ward? You know, and to be honest and truthfully, I was kind of expecting another Call of Duty 4. I heard rumors that this game was like Call of Duty 4, and I heard that the game was a mix between Black Ops and Call of Duty 4, and then I heard it was like Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty. No, it was Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops mixed together. I can say this game is like Black Ops, but it's not. Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2. It has its own feel to it. It when I'm it feels like Black Ops. I think it's because of the hit registration. It takes a little bit more bullets. There's no stopping power, so I think that's why I'm comparing Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops. No stopping power. But it's different. It's a whole new brand new experience. It's fresh. It's something we've never ever played before in a Call of Duty, I guess. But it's still Call of Duty. So in three months I'll get my final opinion about Modern Warfare 3. I will decide I'm gonna keep playing this game. You know, because, you know, it only took me three months to hit Modern Warfare 2. Maybe in three months from now, I'll hit Modern Warfare 3. We'll find out. So this game is wrapping up. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my very first Modern Warfare 3 commentary and my first Game Battles match, which I'm showing you guys. So if you guys are interested in competitive gaming, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting tons of footage of Game Battles matches because this is something I'm going to be doing as well. Um, for those who have been following me for a while and are expecting the Montage Triumph, uh, my competitive Black Ops Montage, it's almost done. I kind of got busy in October and I was hoping to release on Halloween, but things came up, college work and everything, etc. So it's almost done. I got a minute and a half in out of the five minutes. Yeah, kind of lagging on it, but it'll be done later this month. So be ready for that because it's going to be a really great um, Call of Duty Black Ops competitive montage, you know. So thanks guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. This is Fierce25 and I'm out. Peace.